All right, welcome back to Digest Nation. We have a little bit of a different sort of video today. It's going to be a little bit different on the start at least. So a couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago, 10 days ago, I bought Digital Hazard. And I had some issues in the recording process where things just got really, really super duper choppy uh, with what I was getting and pulling and it was just really weird to cut in and out. And well, the videos just weren't great and even editing it was not not good so just want to go review what i pulled from those boxes just so you can see what i got i got the prices for ridiculously stupidly cheap when a couple of companies were fighting over um who was going to undercut each other the most so i got like two boxes for like just over a hundred dollars um and what i got in that was the beelzemon blast mode secret that doesn't really sell for much but just a baller looking card um i also got the dobermon which again it's it's a cool little card for running that sort of a deck um, doesn't really sell for much, but I just love the texturing on this card. It's really, really good. Um, I got the Takato, which was the biggest pull of the set. Getting the Takato alt art, just amazing looking card. Gallantmon in the background there looking like an absolute stud. It is a fantastic card. Probably something I'm going to send to get graded at some point in time. Um, the Golfmon card, uh, again, doesn't sell for terribly too much, but a cool card. The Gilmon card to go with Takato, it is heavenly. It's a great looking card. I love it. It's so old school from Digimon Tamer Season 3. It's fantastic. Uh, the Yaman, which doesn't sell for a lot, but if I was going to pull a Digi Egg, this was definitely the one. Um, I run a bit of the BLs deck, so I just love having this one just as an alternate piece I could throw in there. Really cool card. Um, and then the Gardromon, which kind of stinks that the video didn't run the way it was supposed to because, God, I was, I was making fun of this card a lot. Um, Gardromon and... Um, the whole character inside the anime is just kind of a cheesy tag-along character. Uh, and I was dropping some jokes on it as we go. But the reason we're here gathered today is <clears throat> I got two boxes of Dragonic Roar in super-duper cheap from Magic Man Games off of TCG. 33 bucks a box. This cost me just under $70 for two boxes. Ridiculous value. So we're going to crack some of this open for the very first time. And let's get to it on Digi Destination. Here we go. Crack the seal and get to it. All right, we are back. It has been popped, and away we go. Let's get everything kind of in working order there. Um, we are putting on the Jessmon sleeves today that I bought from the premium deck set. Or I guess that came along with the premium deck set. So those are going to be the sleeves for the day. Like everything else set up. So let's crack open to Dragonic Roar. And on top of there, we got the box topper pack which actually carries some halfway decent box toppers in there. Um, <clears throat> so here we go, starting it off with our box top pack. Pool tabs being friendly. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I got the Imperial German Dragon Mode um, secret pool out of this. Excellent texturing on the card. Believe it or not, this is not even one of the better ones you can pull out of this in terms of like pure value. Um, yeah, man. Very, very cool card, though. Very excellent looking card. We're going to put you up there, my good friend. And then we are going to get cracking on some packs of Dragonic Roar. Here we go. <clears throat> so Dragonic Roar is a set, obviously, based in purely entirely on Dragon decks. And there are some very cool decks that kind of come out of that. I'll kind of point some of those out as we go. Uh, Pensoramon, Cyberdramon, Gatomon, one of my coolest looking Gatomon cards, Snow Agumon, Volcanishmon, Growlmon. Now this is a deck that I actually run. Um, I actually run a deck that carries a lot of these purple greens. I really like that you have a lot of when attacking abilities. There's a lot of security attack plus ones you can get, draw cards you can get out of these cards. So I run a deck that has this um, purple and red mechanic into it. It's actually a really cool mechanic. Um, Sunrizamon, Kumumon, Soray is a card to get to use pretty decently much from this set. Seals Dramon, Slayer Dramon as our first rare, very cool looking rare. And Hydramon, we are already hitting an SR to start this bad boy off. So we got the Hydramon, allows you to suspend one of your opponent's Digimon when you Digivolve. That's a helpful ability to have. It has an all turns in there where you're basically using the traits of veggie plant or fairy that you'd be really focusing on getting on in your decks. 
So an SR pool to start, not too shabby at all. And you're gonna be a pin, aren't you? Here we go. Go, we got the laser cannon to start off this pack. Agumon, the yellow version, which is very, very cool. Tropiamon, Beedramon, Majiramon, Flame Dramon, that is a cool looking card, I'm gonna be honest with you. Megiddo Flame, which I actually run a couple copies of this in that four set, uh, you know, Graumon, War Graumon deck I run. Uh, speaking of which, this War Graumon card. This is this card actually is a dollar every time you pull it. You can sell this for a dollar on TCG tomorrow. Um, you know, when DG following, both players trash the top three cards of their decks. And then if a player has five or more cards in their trash, I can play a Gilmon or a Takato from your hand or the trash without paying memory costs. So it's just a way to keep getting Takatos out there, different versions of Takato, keep Gilmons rolling out on the field. It's a really good mechanic. It's used when you're playing this deck. This is probably the preferred hybrid card. Um, so you're gonna find this one a lot, actually. And every time you pull that card, you could be taking that for a nice dollar. Vmon playing the cards. Oh God, I've never pulled this card before because I only pulled like some random packs of Dragonic Roar, but oh my God, that's so cool. It's awesome. That's pretty funny. And then Magna Dramon as my next. Now Magna Dramon uh, is just a rare card, but it is an absolute beauty. I love the thing. Magna Dramon is one of my favorites. Uh, definitely my four favorite of the Fort Great Dragons. And um, the alt art of that card is not exactly the most pricey card out there. Um, but one that I've been eyeing up PSA 10s of and looking at for a long while because I just think the artwork is absolutely divine on that card. Um, next we get to the Patamon to start off this pack. Um, the Christ Piodramon, the God Flame, Pinsormon, Dark Tyrannomon, Ultramon, Growlmon. Again, it's going to feed into that deck building. Uh, Megidramon as the rare, it's a very cool looking rare, it's a Megidramon here. It's a card that, you know, if I pull multiple out of, I might be able to, because one rare has got a good binder. And then it's Slayer Dramon to start off the alt arts. Now we are expecting to pull three alt arts today, and then there's going to be the 50% chance of getting the secret out of it as well. Um, so Slayer Dramon, first pull here. And Slayer Jermon is a cool looking card here. Very cool with the artwork. Loving the gold on there as you pull that out. And you can kind of just kind of see that as you go across on it. Get in there really close. You can just see how it kind of gets glittery up in those gold sections. That's a very nice looking card there. Um, the Exomon cards are the most valuable of this set. Um, both the Secret and the Secret Alt Art. So those are the ones that you're kind of looking to pull if you're looking for the values, I guess. Um, not terribly too much else in this uh, actual set sells for a lot, which obviously tells me that's the reason why the price of the packs are going down so much. PCOMon, Dino Beamon, Lavoromon, Tankdramon, and Hydramon. Back to back alt art pools, man. Back to back. Now, Hydramon is actually one that sells for quite a decent bit, a decent bit for this set. Um, probably about on the $10, $11 card scale. I'll put the actual price up there in the usual place up there. Um, but, boy, it's a great looking card. It's really, really cool. Uh, glittery in there. You say there by the play cost how glittery that is there. Um, very rainbow effect, uh, almost like sun effect going crossed on it. That is very, very, very cool. We'll drop that one over there. So we've already pulled two of our art alts already. Um, that's both good and bad, I guess. I mean, it's great we're pulling them. Um, but obviously the rest of the video, we're just kind of waiting for one more and hopefully the secret's in there as well. Uh, Growlmon, I will pull all those four Growlmon cards out. Dracomon, this is one of my favorite, favorite Digimon. I do want to pull a lot of these out of there because I am interested in building that sort of a deck. I'm going to need more of those. Entmon and Dorbikmon as the rare. That is a very cool looking rare for Dorbikmon. Really cool. Has that Digicross ability at the bottom. Very, very cool. Put that one over there. And the rare pile. That is AKA binder worthy. <laughs> but you don't get the great sleeves, you just get the pennies. Uh, Commandermon, Pedramon, Patamon, 
Fleritsamon, Guillemon, keep me pulling those, Darturanomon, Corjamon, Wingdramon, uh, Vorvomon, got the Hina, Kurihara. Um, so this is a, a card that's really interesting to play as a tamer. So, you know, you gain a memory if they have a Digimon in play at any point in time. Um, but one of your Digimon, um, the Digi evolves into Digimon with Rock Dragon, Earth Dragon, Machine Dragon, Sky Dragon, and his traits. You suspend the Tamer, and then you get to play the on-play effects. So it's actually a pretty powerful Tamer card uh, that gets used a lot if you're playing this sort of dragon type of deck. Um, that's going to be a pretty dramatic card inside that deck. And then we get the regular Slayer Jamon. So you know what we get to do. We get to do the side-by-side. -side. So we get to do the nice side-by-side. -side. You get the regular artwork here. Looks really great. It looks solid. And then you get the Sasasi. Oh, you get the Sasasi in there for the... Uh, all art, and that's just, yeah, it's a pretty monumental difference, as it, as it usually is, to be honest. Like, all art cards are, they're all art cards for a reason, and they're dope for a reason. Like, um, they look fantastic. There's very, very few alt art cards inside the Digimon TCG that I look at and go, yeah, that's a pretty butt cheeks looking card. Don't, I don't say that. Um, get a crab one in there, Agumon. And eventually we'll start uh, kind of pumping these out a bit faster. Drink them on. Because as you haven't noticed, this is the EX set. So not as many different types of card. Avalon's Gate. Important card for the Examon if you're playing that uh, sort of a deck. Yeah, it's an important card. But it's, you know, one card is very, very useful uh, in the TCG. <clears throat> but um, you'll find a lot of the commons and uncommons in here are, um, you know, pretty much they're going to be the same because there's only 74 types of cards in here. Uh, God Flame, Sormon, Cybertramon, Gatamon, another one of the Growlmons, keep those rolling. But that being said, like getting a, a Bibidamon here is nice when you're trying to like build a deck and you need, you know, five of these. Um, got back-to-backs, Avalon, Ava Avalon's Gate, and uh, Lava agreed them on back, back to back packs. Okay. <laughs> Did I just pull the same pack? No, not really. Because I got the Digi again there. The Digi Tama. Uh, Torpiamon. Abidramon. Majiramon. Commandramon. Paeldramon. Or Paeldramon. Paeldramon. Just looking at it on, on a glance. Yes, yeah, Paeldramon. War Growlmon, pull as many of these as possible, man. Pull as many of those as possible. They're so good. Missymon, Arrow Vidramon, very cool card. This is amazing. You got the Gatomon, the Patomon up there, Tentomon's chilling, Agumon's up there. Very cool cards. Bring this in super duper close. Slow mo, bring it on in. But yeah, very cool card right there. And then the Wormmon. Oh, this one, this one's so funny. Worm Mom with the apple. Fantastic. It looks really, really good. Really, really good. All right, moving on. Pool tab being good to us in this set. Patamon. God Flame. Swarmon. And, yep, we're pretty much getting everything the same here, so we'll kind of get ripping through unless we pull something that feels like it needs some explanation. Jazarichmon. Oh, a Zulongmon rare. I do love this card. The Zulongmon is you know, obviously in the Digimon kind of lore space, I guess. <clears throat> One of the elite, um, powerful Digimon, but also just a Digimon that, um, you know, does incredibly good things. As I look at, do I have my first ever card that just has kind of a little bit of dingy up there in the right hand corner? Just not the best cornering on that card. Not a card I send to PSA ever, I guess. Um, but it's going in the binder. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, the Zulongmon is, you know, a personal favorite of mine. He is one of the sovereign Digimon and obviously helps out the shows uh, tremendously. And I won't give anything more away from that. You watch the shows. 
Arrow of Adramon, keep pulling these for me. I'm really liking these uh, artworks on this card. I want to keep pulling those all the time. And then I have the Volcanic Dramon. Look at that. That is nice. That almost makes you fool that you got the alt art there. So you can see the borders that are chilling on that there as we go. So it's not exactly a full one on there as we go, as I can't get a sleeve to come out. There we go. Should probably have them a little more accessible than that, I guess. Bam. Another SR pool. It's a great looking card. Um, Volcanic Tremont just kind of like pops out at you. Just comes right out of the card. Really love when they have those effects to them. Uh, Agumon, as we start a secondary pile there. Torpedomon. Nidramon. Nishiramon. Mikito Flame. Flaritsamon. Gilmon. Voromon. Pumamon. Sarai. Wormon again. And Jezerichmon again. So we've kind of pulled a few of those back to back as we get going. And we're at that time of the video where we get out all of the other packs and we get ready to go for the straight pack dash here at the end. Especially in these EX sets where we're not finding a lot of cards very different. We have a lot of the same cards that are kind of happening out of the packs. Perfect time for us to kind of just kind of rip through the packs pretty quickly. Anjuaman, nice. I haven't seen this one too often. We've been pulling today. Good looking card. Azulongmon again. Looks a lot better than the other one as well. That one's probably going to go inside the thing. And Hyper Infinity Cannon. It's definitely something you can use in a nice uh, Machine Dramon deck for sure. Air Dramon. First card of this pack. Moving on, we got Crabmon, Agumon, Extranomon, Megiddo Flame, and then we pull out the War Growlmon again. I've said it again. This is like a dollar every time you pull one. And since it's an uncommon one, could literally be in every single pack you pull. And there is a very important card for the TCG the Trial of the Great Four Dragons. This is a card that you just 100% pretty much have to have to make that debt type work. Um, if you don't have it, it's going to be really, really difficult. And it's all about the effects on this card. Uh, main, you draw a card. The delay on this is you play one Digimon card before Great Dragon, so any one of them in its traits, and you don't pay the memory cost. Um, after you uh, play it, after your opponent's turn, you have to delete it, though. But you can get it out there, use its effects, and they usually have very, very powerful effects. For level 6 and 7 Digimon. Um, and this is an important card for that set of decks. And then after that, we get the Agishishman. Look at that. That is cool looking right there. That is excellent looking. Agishishman. Very cool looking card. Cyborg type on there. Moving on, next pack. I'm hoping to see the Examon Secret. I really am. Really hoping to see that card. 50 50 shot at it. Um, I mean, I would take the I would take the, the secret as well. There's another one of War Grandmon. Shiching every time. Um, Mega, Mega Seedramon. Very cool. Different rare for us. And Chaos Dramon with another SR. I really love the kind of texture thing that goes into Chaos Dramon's cards all the time. So even this is an SR, you can see there, just up there is a checkerboarding that just kind of sticks out a bit more. It's fantastic that they put small details into that, just in a basic SR card. That's, uh, you know, typically standardly not going to sell for that much, but that's what Digimon does. Like, the quality of the cards is fantastic. It's just what they do. It's why I love this TCG. Yeah, I love Digimon to start with. But it's just amazing. There's the Magidramon again. And Tank Dramon. Let's see, we're starting to get to the point where we're like running out on packs. And we know at least one something has to be rolling in. Hopefully it's two somethings. Tropiamon. Bidramon. Dramon. Extranomon. Flame Dramon. We're just kind of ripping through here. Missed the Jazzardmon. Getting to the Break Dramon. 
Very cool looking card. And the Beemon playing his cards. What a happy dude. What a happy chappy. Here we go. Peyotramon. Patamon, God Flame, Clarizamon, Gilmon, Dark Tranomon, Dino Beamon. Very helpful in those hybrid decks, those cards are. Beamon, Magnadramon. It's just such a heavenly looking artwork. It really is. Gotta take a little bit of time to admire it again. Really is good. And. Got the Hina again. I'm totally going to be fine pulling that Hina card. I pulled it in a random pack. I already have one in the binder that's really top-notch quality. You know, probably possible PSA 10 in there. Um, but as many as I could pull Take that that, on the way that'd out. be great. Mm -hmm. Wow, that pack was an absolute pain in the ass. Um, hopefully I didn't ruin any cards. Because good lord, that thing was stupid. Graumon. Tetramon. Vidramon, Groundramon, Hyper Infinity Cannon, Dark Dramon on the SR pool. Don't think it's like I damaged anything on there, which is good, thank goodness. Dark Dramon, I've pulled some of his alt art before from other sets. They're, they're just cool looking cards all the time. Um, totally different type of Digimon. Um, with the dark side, it's, it's a great Digimon if you're running that deck. Um, it could be a very powerful Digimon, actually, uh, if used correctly, but I'm not going to say it's an easy deck to run. There's definitely a lot easier decks to run. I mean, my personal favorite right now is EX4 deck running the Bunny Pummel deck with Top Lotmon, Terrier Mon, all those in there. Like, that's that's been my favorite deck to run as of late, is the Bunny Pummel, as I call it. Ends Mon. And Dorbikmon. He just comes out of the cards so well as a rare card. So cool. Four packs left. Hopefully there are some hitters in here, my friends. Abidramon. Ajiramon. Piotramon. 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 I did it again. I'm trying to go so fast. I just see the P and Dramon. And I go Piotramon. Yeah, not me. Uh, trial, four great dragons, obviously much needed for this deck type. Mega Seedramon again. Three packs left. Here we go. Be something good. Be something good. We want the secret. Give it to us. Stop holding the secret. Give us the secret. I guess the good news is we have another box of this to pull. So this to warp them on in there. We got the Mega Seedramon again, and Imperial Dramon. Dragon Mode is our last alt art of this box. Um, this is a wonderful, wonderful looking card. Really good with it come, the attack coming out of the top there. You can see the texturing at the very, very top of the card. I'm um, doing my best with the light glares there, but you can kind of see how there's that texturing up on the top. You kind of move your way into the bottom. You have the same kind of texturing there on the left-hand side by my thumb here. Really, really good. Um, it's a really nice, nice card. And this is kind of the SR that you're looking to have in the deck running that combo hybrid Imperial Dramon deck with the red-purple. Um, beautiful card. And Sasasi again, you've outdone yourself, my friend. Sasasi right behind Kenji is, is, is that guy. He's that guy. He's him. Okay. We got two packs left. Two chances for the Examon to be in there. But that would be the card we're looking for now. We're not expecting any sort of alt art in here. I mean, I guess, technically speaking, it could be the secret alt art, I guess. But that's going to be rare, rare air. Um, no, it's Tantramon. Okay, last pack. Last pack magic. Oh, is it the Examon? That would be so incredibly solid, you have no idea. Getting the secret out of it would be so good. Here we go. Gatomon, Snow Agumon, Erdramon, Crabamon, Hextyranomon, Dracomon, Pyodramon. There's actually a Pyodramon. Breakdramon and Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode. So we get the regular version of it. That means at least bare minimum we can do the side-by-side on there so here we go there's the side by side 
Here's the regular super rare. It's a very cool card, don't get me wrong. It's cool, it's not anywhere freaking close to what the old art is, but that's usually how it works. Um, but yeah, this this thing is a massive improvement. Texturing, just the card being kind of more in your face. Um, really, really good. Obviously, it has the same exact things on it um, in terms of its abilities. But there you go. That is that that is the pitch. That is all the cards for the day. So we'll drop the total of what we got in the uh, box at the very end. Um, but here we go. Start this thing off with Chaos Dramon SR. Cool looking card. G Stramon. Slayer Dramon as the first all art that we pulled. Texturing with the gold. Really, really cool looking card. Um, then we have the Hydramon as the regular. And there's the Hydramon alt art. So all the SRs we pulled, we pulled some alts of them as well. Really, really cool card those are. The Hydramons. The Volcanic Dramon. And I really like this card. Just it just pops out at you. It pops out of the borders. You could barely tell there's border on there. Really good. And then you got Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode. Really cool card. And then you have the regular Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode. And then the Dark Dramon. All right, we got ourselves a nice little review of my second box of Dragonic War. I started recording and I was just like, why am I recording a second box? Of this we already seen most of the cards. People are just going to hang out for the hits anyway, so we're just going to add this into the part one of the video and have part two be this. So these are the pools I just got out of the box. Volcanic Dramon on the SR. Aegis Dramon. Gold Dramon, which is different than the first box. Nice, I got the reprint of this card as well, but it's nice to get the foil version of it. Very really cool looking card. Got the Metallic Dramon, which again, I also did not pull in there, and I liked a little bit of texturing in the top left of that card. I got the Hydramon. And then we get into our alt arts, which were not as good as my first box, in my opinion. Got the Aegisterman card, which is very cool. Nice alt art card, very glittery in there. Really like the shine that we get in the texturing up there. Really cool card. Um, you can see the kind of texturing there on the bottom, too. So it kind of goes side to side. This is the crown jewel for me. I've been, I've been wanting to just purchase a card of this. Um, but the very nice Magna Dramon card is so beautiful. We get the Angelomon up there in the corner. Um, it's such a cool card. Uh, I've been chasing PSA 10s of this. I may still be just chasing PSA 10s of this. Um, it's a wonderful card, though. And then I got the Dorbikmon here as well. So it's not the priciest you know packs I've ever pulled, but it was a fun rip. And uh, as always, if you like the videos, uh, subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. And we'll talk to you next time on Digi Destination. Talk to you later. Bye.